Hey guys, good morning. Uh, so I was uh, updating the whiteboard here on the P48 project and um, updating all the items that have been completed and the stuff that's still left to do. And the list is getting shorter. That's great. You know, every day we're knocking down that list. So um, today I'm going to knock out uh, one of the next major system items, which is uh, the pedal assembly that needs to mount under the dash. Uh, or at least I'm going to start that today. We'll see how it goes. Um, the pedal assembly here needs to mount into our firewall. And then our clutch and brake pedal hang underneath the, the mount. So I've done some preliminary measurements uh, of the underdash area on the P48 and our bracket here, our mount, pedal mount that needs to go th into the firewall and under the dash and uh, it looks like it's going to fit. looks like the length is right. Um, looks like the dimensions are in our favor for once so that's good. So my plan is uh, to take and punch out the uh, studs, the pressed in studs that are sticking through the back of the bracket which would mount into the firewall because I don't have any of those holes on this 1948 Chevy 3100 right so in order to make this fit um, I don't want to guesstimate where my holes need to be so I'm going to punch these studs out so that I just have bare holes for now uh, and get this fitted under the dash I'm going to have to do some trimming up here where it goes around the steering column and I may have to revise this uh, bracket here on top which I think is the pedal return uh, for the clutch pedal. I think there's a rubber band or something that goes you know off this boss down to the one on the matching one on the clutch pedal and that's how the clutch is returned. Uh, so I need to probably trim this up quite a bit here to get to fit and I may have to hack that off and relocate that I'm not sure yet. Um, so that's that's what I'm gonna focus on today but Lots of little stuff to do today. So uh, I'm going to set you guys up in a couple different spots, try and get some different camera angles, try and make it flashy, make it interesting, and uh, let's get to work. Man, guys, I am so happy that we decided to go with this pedal assembly. Uh, it's been the easiest modification I've had to make on the whole project. Uh, fit right under the dash like it was meant to be there. Um, super excited. All I had to do was trim uh, where the steering column comes through. I took off maybe a half inch uh, where that column comes through and flattened out the uh, mounting points where the tabs are that bolt it to the bottom of the dash. Uh, and I had to cut cut a slit into the passenger side tab because it's got to go up at an angle because the underside of the dash is curved where that one needs to mount. But other than that, it bolted in perfectly. Fits, fits the exact distance between the dash and the firewall. Sits nice and flat against the firewall. Super excited. It was easy. Um, it's nice to finally get one that was easy. So I've got all my, ho my holes marked um, under the dash where uh, it needs to bolt in. So I'm going to disassemble the pedals, get those out of there. Um, I'm not going to tack this until it's bolted in. So I'm going to drill those two holes out that bolt it to the front lip of the dash. Um, I need to drill out or cut off the studs that are tack welded into the back side of the bracket where it mounts to the firewall. Uh, so that I have those holes and I can mark those holes and drill those through the firewall. And uh, 
that's it. Easy. Can't believe it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, trim that up, get those bolt holes drilled through, drill the two in the dash so I can fit the bracket up in there, um, and punch the four holes into the firewall, and then I'm ready to mount up a master cylinder. So, boy, that was nice, and it looks great. It Pedals hang perfectly right alongside our steering column as they should. Fits really nice. Pedal height looks good. Super excited. Okay guys, well I've got the uh, pedal assembly hanging here under the dash. Uh, fit like a glove. I, I couldn't have asked uh, <laughs> that to fit any better. So I'm going to show you where we're at, how it looks. I've got it leveled right now and I'm about to punch the four holes that will mount the master cylinder through the firewall. Uh, I'm not going to drill the push rod hole yet because I've got to go pick up the master cylinder. Um, we're going to use the same master cylinder that came out of the 94 donor truck, so I've got to go pick that up, uh, the master and booster, so that I can test fit those, and then I'll punch the hole for the push rod shaft for the uh, master cylinder that needs to connect to our brake pedal. Uh, but the pedal assembly fits perfect. I've got to build a, a spacer for the outside driver's side um, mount at the bottom of the dash. I've temporarily got it shimmed up with some washers just to get the height right and get it level. Um, and now I can uh, go ahead and punch those four holes through the, through the firewall. So here's how we're looking with the pedal assembly. It's right up under the dash like it was meant to be there. Super impressed with that. I think if you didn't know this was a 1948, uh, you would just assume that those were the factory pedals the way it fits. So you can see that our pedal travel is probably going to be a little limited here uh, by our firewall. So what I'm going to have to do is cut and re-weld the pedals at a higher angle so that we can push the pedal in further. We have plenty of clearance here at the back side of the pedal arm. Just uh, the foot pedal needs to come up probably about into this position here is my guess. So. You know, there's, there's space nicely around the column. I think that's fine. Um, we do probably need some bushings in there. I haven't, uh, I haven't tightened, tightened the, the through bolt yet, but I think we could use, uh, use some new bushings in there. But uh, everything fits good, fits under the column well, uh, fits perfectly behind the dash. I'm super impressed with that. Now I have a good solid assembly to mount, uh, mount wiring to, so I'm going to readdress all the wiring up here. Uh, I can get the gauges put in now and um, get all of that stuff done. I'm still not sure about this bracket here. I think this is our brake uh, brake light switch which will probably be going with the hydraulic brake light switch in which case I'll cut this little tab off of here but I didn't want to remove it till I knew exactly uh, if we we're going to need it or not. I think we have plenty of travel on the brake pedal. Uh, to operate our master cylinder. The, the only real concern is clutch pedal. I just don't know if that's enough travel, uh, if that's full travel on our clutch master. So once we get the clutch master in place, I'll deal with uh, modifying the pedals as, as necessary. I still have to remove the uh, old 70 year old uh, emergency brake lever that's still mounted through the floor. Um, that's probably all going to have to be cut out. Um, I think all of the hardware is just rusted solid on that stuff and um, I don't think I'm going to have much luck unbolting it, but I'm going to give it a shot. Just to clean things up under here, we're not going to be using it. Uh, it's pretty big and bulky and le left a big hole here in the floor that I'm going to have to fill. Um, and we're just going to ditch that. 
I'm not sure yet. I've got to talk to the owner about whether we're going with the mechanical um, emergency brake setup or if we're going to go with maybe like a hydraulic park lock, which would be a lot cleaner. Um, I do have a mechanical e-brake assembly that, <coughs> that I received from one of the friends of our channel here. Uh, it's a nice compact uh, GMC Sierra unit. I might be able to get it mounted back in there in the little cove in the back corner once I get the uh, original e-brake lever out of the way. I think I might be able to get it in here. Um, it's not going to look great, but uh, it'll work. So I've got to discuss that with the owner and find out if he wants to do that or not. My preference would be to go with the hydraulic park lock. Um, we can mount it... Uh, right underneath the seat um, or even underneath the dash. The way a park lock works is you push the pedal down, brake pedal down all the way, and I'll hold pressure on the rear brakes while you pull up on the hydraulic park lock and lock it into place. And uh, what that does is uh, the rear brake line is routed through the park lock and it, it locks the rear wheels so that they can't turn just like an emergency brake would. But it's hydraulic and it's not mechanical and, uh, you know, it, it could leak, I suppose, and, and fail to uh, hold the truck in, in place. So that's why it's always a good idea to also use, um, you know, first gear or reverse. So those are decision, decisions uh, yet to be made. We've got to decide on uh, how we're going to do the emergency brake. We've got to get the master cylinder and booster mounted up into the firewall. The, uh, these four... Uh, are our bolting locations. I've got to put spacers, uh, just a little bit of a spacer between the steering column support and these upper bolts uh, on the firewall just to so I can tighten these up. They're not tight at the moment. Uh, the hole for the push rod is going to be right here in the center and our booster is going to fit nicely right into this location here. It's going to look great. Master cylinder is going to come out about here. Uh, I'm going to have to cut down this breather hose so that it's shorter and clears the bottom of the master cylinder. Otherwise, um, everything's nice. Uh, we're going we're gonna to run brake lines um, probably across this side and down to the frame rail for the front and rear brakes. Uh, we'll run across the back of the cross member for the crossover line on the front brakes and in the back we'll drop down and then run across the top of the axle. But for the P40A project, uh, that's it for today. I've got to talk to the owner and make some decisions about next steps and how we're going to proceed uh, with the next steps on the vehicle. In order to make big strides here and get the, get the uh, P48 drivable, uh, we've got to complete um, the braking system and steering system. So, so next step is we've got to get a booster and master cylinder mounted up into the firewall so I can start forming and uh, attaching our hard brake lines to the frame rails and our flexible lines to all four of our calipers. We've got four wheel discs on the P48 here. Braking system is relatively straightforward. We've just got to make a decision about the park lock, if we're going to use a hydraulic park lock or if we're going to use uh, emergency brake cables and run those down the frame rail to a mechanical uh, emergency brake foot control. So that's it for me today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe.